8 Reasons You're Not Losing Weight on Keto, Part 1 The ketogenic, or keto, diet is a low-carb way of eating that has been adopted by many looking to lose weight and improve health. When following a keto diet, carbs are typically reduced to 20 to 50 grams per day. This has been shown to lead to weight loss and may improve heart health and blood sugar control as well. However, to reap the benefits of the keto diet, it must be implemented correctly. Here are 8 things that may be sabotaging your weight loss efforts on a keto diet. 1. You're eating too many carbs. One of the main reasons people don't lose weight on the ketogenic diet is that they're consuming too many carbs. To reach the state of ketosis, a metabolic state in which your body burns fat for energy instead of glucose, carbohydrate intake must be drastically reduced. In fact, only around 5% of your total calories should come from carbs. This is in stark contrast to the standard dietary recommendation that 45-65% to of calories come from carbs. It's normal to have a bit of difficulty cutting out carbs when first adjusting to the ketogenic diet. However, to reach and maintain ketosis, carbs must be decreased to the recommended range. To help reach your intake goals, Consider tracking your macronutrients through an app like MyFitnessPal. This can help you learn how many servings of carbs you're allowed to have in a day depending on your calorie needs. Summary To lose weight on a ketogenic diet, carbs must be decreased to reach the state of ketosis and induce fat burning. 2. You aren't eating nutritious foods. No matter what dietary plan follow, the key to healthy weight loss is to consume nutritious, whole foods. Relying on processed foods can put a dent in your weight loss even if they're keto-friendly. Adding in foods like snack bars, keto desserts and other packaged foods between meals can derail your weight loss efforts with the extra calories they provide. Additionally, eating too many convenience-type foods like hot dogs and fast food when you're on the run can slow weight loss. These foods are nutrient-poor, meaning they're high in calories but low in vitamins minerals and antioxidants. To optimize your nutrient intake while losing weight on the keto diet, stick to unprocessed, whole foods. For example, full-fat dairy products, eggs, fish, pastured meats, poultry and healthy fats like avocado and olive oil are all great choices. Be sure to add non-starchy vegetables like greens, broccoli, peppers and mushrooms to dishes to add nutrients and fiber. Summary to optimize weight loss when following a ketogenic diet, avoid consuming too many processed foods and instead focus on meals and snacks that contain fresh, whole ingredients. 3. You may be consuming too many calories. When trying to lose weight, it's critical to create a calorie deficit. This can be achieved by either reducing the number of calories that you consume or by expending more calories through increased physical activity. If you switch to a keto diet and don't watch your calorie intake, you're unlikely to drop pounds. Because many keto-friendly foods, including avocados, olive oil, full-fat dairy and nuts, are high in calories, it's important not to overdo it. Most people feel more satisfied after eating ketogenic meals and snacks due to the filling effects of fat and protein. However, it's entirely possible to consume too many calories on a ketogenic diet by eating portions that are too large or by snacking on high-calorie foods throughout the day. Paying attention to portion size, increasing physical activity and snacking in moderation between meals can help create the calorie deficit needed to lose weight. Summary When following any diet, it's important to create a calorie deficit to promote weight loss. Curbing portion sizes, limiting snacks between meals and being more active can help you drop excess pounds. 4. You have an undiagnosed medical issue. The ketogenic diet is an effective weight loss tool. However, if you're having a difficult time losing weight even though you're doing everything right, it's a good idea to rule out any medical issues that may be preventing weight loss success. Hypothyroidism polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, Cushing's syndrome, depression and hyperinsulinemia, high insulin levels, are medical issues that can cause weight gain and make it difficult to lose weight. 
These conditions can be ruled out by your doctor through a series of tests. If you have one of the conditions listed above, don't despair. Through proper management, including medication if necessary and lifestyle and dietary modifications, you can achieve and maintain healthy weight loss. Summary Certain medical conditions, such as hypothyroidism and depression, can make it hard to lose weight. Consult your doctor to rule out an underlying medical issue if you're having a particularly hard time dropping the pounds. 5. You have unrealistic weight loss expectations. It's normal to want fast results when following a new diet plan, but it's important to remember that weight loss can vary from person to person. Although the ketogenic diet can promote weight loss if properly followed, the rate at which you lose may not be rapid, and that's okay. Small, consistent change is the key to losing and maintaining weight the healthy way. While it may be tempting to aim for lofty weight loss goals, most experts recommend that losing 1 to 3 pounds or about 0.5 to 1 kilogram per week, depending on weight, is best. Not to mention, if you adopt a new workout routine that involves weight lifting, you may gain muscle while losing fat. Though this can lead to slower weight loss, putting on muscle mass and decreasing fat mass benefits health in many ways. It can reduce your risk of heart disease and improve bone health. Instead of relying solely on the scale, take weekly measurements of your arms, thighs and midsection to track your progress. Summary a healthy weight loss of 1 to 3 pounds or about 0.5 to 1 kilogram per week can help you stay on track and maintain weight loss over time. What do you think? Let us know what you think below.